Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. I am on a mission. As of right now, I am going hunting for what I saw yesterday, which I have footage of, but I want to find another one today. That is a fully automated, self-driving, that's right, nobody in the vehicle, Waymo. I'm over here in Chandler, Arizona, which is where Waymo, which is a Google outfit, I believe, has their automated vehicles that have been out driving here for really several years. I've seen them around, but there's always been a driver in the vehicle. Well, as of yesterday, I was running over to the post office and I saw this vehicle drive by with nobody in the driver's seat and it blew my mind. This is incredible. I am behind an actual driverless Waymo. I'm trying to catch up to this thing. It was very bizarre to see a vehicle driving on the road with nobody in it. And I started to follow it just mainly out of really just being very interested in what the heck I just saw. But then I was interested to see how it was driving. And as somebody who rides a motorcycle, and that's why I'm out doing this video on the bike today, is because it's a bit terrifying to think these vehicles are just kind of out driving around by themselves. Now, before these EV and future, you know, tech gurus and all this stuff, I, I mean, I'm guys, I'm a tech guy. I love this stuff. I think it's awesome. And when I say that it, it's a little bit terrifying, it's not that I'm saying that I don't understand this is the future, this is the way things are going. Honestly, it's the way things should be going. It's awesome to see. But you always have to wonder, you're the first city that has these things buzzing around in the country. There was an article that was just put out recently, I think it was in the last week, that one of these things actually just got stuck in the middle of an intersection and they had to come tow it out uh, because it was just basically stuck there and there was no driver even in it to do anything. So it would be interesting to know what is the procedure of finding out that these things are even stuck to begin with to send out roadside assistance to come and pick them up. Uh, but obviously the robotics of it got the thing stuck somewhere and that's just part of it. So if that's a thing that can happen, are these things really ready to be out on the road by themselves, uh, putting other motorists and motorcyclists in harm's way, or is there harm's way? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? What I will say, and it's also possible that maybe I won't even see one out here. I'm just kind of hunting in the neighborhood where I believe that they're hanging out. Uh, well, I will say that I saw this thing driving incredibly apprehensively, almost scarily apprehensively. Uh, when I got behind it, it first took a left into this neighborhood and it was so slow going over just a little wash. Uh, here in Arizona, we do have a lot of these intersections where there's just uh, kind of a little concrete gully cut in for monsoons to deal with uh, the weather. There is a Waymo there, but it actually has a driver in the seat. That's what you usually see, which, uh, yeah, you'll be able to see as I ride by here. This is the normal thing I've seen for the last few years is a Waymo with uh, a driver in the uh, driver's seat that kind of is there in case something goes awry. So the point that I was making is that this thing just went super slow over this wash. Uh, and it's like, you know, kind of leaves me hung out in traffic. And uh, I do understand it's my job as the person behind it to keep a safe distance and not enter the intersection prior to. There's all of these what you should do, but then there's also kind of accounting for the average driving person who might get stuck behind this thing and either rear end it or kind of get stuck behind it and get T-boned by somebody else. Stuff that I kind of consider. And uh, anyhow, that was kind of my first take on seeing this thing driving was its super apprehensive driving skills. Now, after that, it went into a, a corner and kind of made a, a, a right, kind of one of those corners, like half cul-de-sac, half corner sort of thing. And uh, it seemed to me to take a very, very wide turn uh, almost into like head on traffic, just stayed very far off the right hand curb. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, then I, right after that, it took another right hand turn and I felt like it was going to just drive straight into the vehicle that was uh, coming uh, down the road. That seemed to me like it was very close to hitting. And, you know, maybe I'm being overly cr you know, critical of these things from a position of analyzing the first one that I saw on the road, if it was somebody else that I was behind, 
I probably would have just thought like, oh, I'm stuck behind an old person. That was very much how this vehicle drove. Now, like it or not, I tend to be the kind of person that believes that uh, overly apprehensive driving can be more dangerous than somewhat aggressive driving. And I don't mean aggressive driving like road rage or anything like that, but when you guys watch me riding the bike, I tend to be going faster than vehicles, uh, other vehicles on the road. Uh, it's not so much the need for speed as it is just the need to ride through things and feel like I'm in a bit more control of everything around me, the environment be, uh, you know, around me. I don't like getting stuck behind old people or apprehensive drivers because I feel like that is now just one more potential of me being rear-ended by somebody behind me who's not ready to be driving in that manner, I suppose you'd say. So uh, that was kind of my take on, on the Waymo. The next thing that I saw, this uh, situation with this Waymo turning right at a stop sign. This is a super common accident where somebody starts to initiate their turn right and then seemingly for not much of any reason uh, decides to hit the brakes again. So what will happen is they're turning right and you're looking left because you're trying to make sure traffic isn't coming and because traffic isn't coming and they started to initiate their right hand turn you're looking this way they already started going you start to go and lo and behold there they are hitting their brakes again for no reason and you smack into the rear end of them that's exactly what this waymo did and i was just kind of like that was bizarrely unnecessary for a robot driver so i don't know i found that interesting uh, then it was funny because it was going over speed bumps and it was doing it like these speed bumps were 10 foot tall just super super cautiously to navigate these these speed bumps and I just kind of found that to be funny. Uh, then as I'm following this thing around I'm just kind of driving around and it, it was it was weird because all of a sudden it just decided to go into this neighborhood again super apprehensively making that turn and uh, it just stopped. It just pulled over on the side of the road. So my first instinct, which is what I did, was got out. I'm like, I gotta look at this thing, this is wild. I've never seen a vehicle driving around with nobody in it. I gotta see what's going on. So it's not lost on me that I did that and that that alone is also probably a hazard of the rubbernecking of people seeing this for the first time. Now I was in a safe neighborhood, you know, it was not traffic or anything like that, so it wasn't a big deal, but uh, I could see that being a bigger deal in other scenarios. Again, not lost on me. So I'm out there, I'm kind of recording, just totally mind blown that I'm, of what I'm looking at. And while I was doing that, the Waymo started moving again. So naturally I started following it and I was kind of wondering, I'm like, are these things programmed to like pull over if somebody's following it for like safety reasons or something? But it didn't seem to pull very close to that curb. It didn't seem like it was a very great place to stop. Not totally unsafe, but kind of far off the curb in a random neighborhood. I don't know how many people are going to want these like unmanned Waymos just kind of chilling around their neighborhoods, uh, hanging out. Uh, people got mad at uh, bird scooters that were in their neighborhoods. So I don't know how they're going to feel about uh, autonomous minivans kind of hanging out all over the place. So we'll see how that works out long term. So again, this is just me kind of spitballing the stuff that I, that I noticed. But uh, as I was driving again behind that thing, I just noticed again, just a lot more apprehensive driving. And uh, I got behind it, started following it around and filming a little bit more. And then it turned into a hospital and it had a hard time kind of navigating a roundabout a little bit that had traffic in it. Uh, you know, something that wasn't just a basic normal sort of situation. It seemed like it struggled with that. And then uh, all of a sudden it picked up some girl and I realized like, okay, now I'm following around like, a vehicle with a woman in it that not a smart look or a good look so I, I just let it go and uh, that was the end of my, my recording so that was my experience first time seeing one of these things out and about just kind of cruising town and uh, I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below does it creep you out are you embracing this technology as just the the way of the future uh, what's your thought uh, you know I, I don't know again it's just kind of my interesting take I'm sure a lot of you guys don't even know these things exist because I'm in the area and I of course knew that they had these things out here in a manned fashion had no idea that they were out here unmanned and as of today I can't find them out here uh, it's also possible that maybe they're only running these things in a very limited fashion you know maybe they don't run every day 
Uh, maybe they're on schedules. Uh, maybe they go through uh, firmware updates and uh, things like that where they end up getting pulled off the road for whatever reasons. Very well possible. But um, I actually don't even see very many Waymos. Usually you'll see, I don't know, two or three of them if you kind of cruise around this area. I've only seen one. Well, no luck. I didn't find any today, so maybe they're just not out and about. Uh, I'm not too sure, again, what the program is, how often those things run, uh, even to be honest with you, where they run. Uh, I think it's uh, just a matter of a couple weeks old that they've even been on the road, and uh, maybe there's a reason why they're not out today. So that is my take on Waymos. And uh, with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.